Hi Study Sex fans, this is Omegan answering more of your questions that were asked during the Study Sex College Tour. These questions that I'm answering right now come from Wesleyan University. And so someone writes, does cunnilingus, i.e. licking someone's asshole, spread disease more? How do you do it safely? And so while I appreciate the effort and the question, I do need to clarify that cunnilingus is licking the clitoris, the inner labia, the vaginal opening, the vulva. And that is different than analingus. And so analingus is licking the asshole or licking um, the anus separate, close, but separate. And so I'm going to answer the question, does analingus spread disease more? And so first things first, um, you cannot spontaneously get a disease. A lot of times when we're hearing about sexual activity and making sure that uh, sex is safer, that the phrase gets used, if you have sex, you can get an infection. And we forget about the step that someone needs to have an infection before you can transmit an infection. So just because you have sex with someone doesn't mean that you're going to spontaneously get an infection of some sort. Someone has to have something in order to transmit it to you. Now. The rectum does have more bacteria, um, the anus does have more bacteria than in other parts of the body. So that means some extra methods are recommended to prevent bacteria from being spread. And those things would involve um, using safer sex supplies like gloves or dental dams or saran wrap to prevent the spread of infection. So how you would use these things would be, you would get someone who's nice and randy and ready to play, you put some lubrication down over the anus, you would place the dental dam or the saran wrap, and it doesn't matter if it's microwavable or non-microwavable, it all works the same. Um, place the saran wrap or the dental dam over the anus, and then go to town and have fun and enjoy the sensations that everyone is experiencing. So that's a really good way of preventing bacteria from spreading. Um, the other thing that I would recommend is washing the anus before analingus takes place. Um, that will get rid of any extra bacteria that may be hanging around from, um, you know, the day. You may have had a bowel movement earlier. Um, but dental dams or saran wraps are the best way to prevent transmission of bacteria to one another. And so analingus doesn't spread disease more. You just need to be a little bit safer in the terms of, you know, um, preventing transmission of bacteria. It's all about risk reduction. So thanks for asking the question. Uh, spend some more time learning about analingus and um, I will see you in more question and answer format. Thanks so much.